independent driving video, a useful skill for the driving test and for the rest of your life. We're going to pull away and we're going to follow the signs to Reading. So when we're ready. Okay, so we've got a red traffic light ahead, so we're just going to check our centre mirror, start easing off the gas a little bit. With a bit of luck, it might turn to green before we get there. A bit of eco safe driving. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to be so lucky, so looking for our position for stopping at the line. Okay, now it's not going to be red for long, so we're just going to keep an eye out for Bob and Tom just as we move off. There we go. Now looking ahead, we can just about see a white sign sticking out. It might be our roundabout sign telling us where Reading is. We'll just keep looking. Okay, now it just tells us where the council offices are, so that one's not very helpful to us. So it's still looking ahead. We know the roundabout's ahead though because of that sign. So centre mirror, just easing off the gas a little bit, just give us a couple more seconds to see things. So just on the left hand side we can see our big sign now. It tells us Reading is left first exit. There's also a bus lane which we need to get across. So centre mirror, left mirror, left signal, chin to shoulder check to the left, and across we go. Looking for our gap nice and early at the roundabout. Keeping ahead moving like a tennis match. So looking where we're going. And new road, new mirrors. Now looking ahead, we've got our next roundabout already. We can see the sign tells us Reading is straight ahead second exit. So we can see that the get in lane sign tells us we can use the left lane for following the road ahead second exit. So centre mirror, ease off the gas. It's time to look to the right nice and early, looking for our gaps. Keep on ahead moving like a tennis match. Okay, the roundabout's looking busy, so we can take a rolling first gear in case it clears up. And we've got a gap after this next car. Checking for Bob and Tom again. Onto the roundabout. So there's exit one on the left, so now centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Looking across the corner for our exit. Coming off the roundabout, new road, new mirrors. Okay, now looking in the distance, we just got a glimpse of a roundabout sign before it went out of view behind the tree, so we know it's going to be up there somewhere. So we're just keeping an eye on the traffic behind us, so we know when we can safely start to slow down. Now we're following the signs to Reading A327. Sometimes it's very helpful to take in other information on the sign, like the A327, as this sign depicts it as being possibly right second exit, or follow the road ahead second exit. So we're going to look for other clues. So as we get closer to the roundabout, we're going to start looking at the road markings and for any getting lane signs if there are any, because sometimes there are. Now we can just about see now that the left lane's got a straight ahead arrow and a left arrow, and the right lane's right. And it also says A327 on the left lane. So we're going to treat it as a follow the road ahead second exit. Looking for our gap nice and early. That's a big roundabout. We need to stay over to the left all the way around it. Now the first exit's almost straight away, so now centre mirror left signal. And then looking across the roundabout, looking for our exit. There it is. And then new road, new mirrors, just checking that nobody's tried to overtake us as they've come off the roundabout. Okay, so again looking across the corner, we can see the roundabout sign round the corner, so that we know it's coming up. So again, we're keeping an eye on our mirror to see what the guy behind's doing. He's at a sensible distance, so we can ease off when we need to. So, Reading is right third exit. So when we're close enough, we'll start our routine. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Okay, it's a fairly closed roundabout, so we can't see to the right too early, but we are going to try looking. Keeping our head moving like a tennis match. It is actually looking clear, so we'll roll on. Okay, so we've got exit number one on the left here. Just coming around, there's number two. So now centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Checking nobody trying to go around the outside of us. There's our exit coming off towards the left hand side. And new road, new mirrors. Just checking that there's no one trying to overtake us again. 
Awesome. Now, sometimes when we're following signs, um, there won't be a sign at a junction. So the best thing to do in that case is to just follow the road ahead. You'll have that quite often when you're following the signs for a long time. There'll be roundabouts or junctions without signs. So here's the next roundabout. We haven't seen any directional signs, so we'll follow the road ahead second exit again. So centre mirror progressively braking, looking to the right nice and early. Now it's very important that we keep our position over to the left so people know where we're going and so the people going right have space. Centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Coming off the roundabout, new road, new mirrors. <coughs> okay, we're still following Reading A327. So we've got the next roundabout coming up. We can see the sign now. Again, it's follow the road ahead, second exit. So centre mirror, progressive braking. And we're using the left lane as that's what the markings are telling us. It says A327 on the road again. Looking for our gap nice and early. Onto the roundabout, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal for the second exit. New road, new mirrors again. Just checking, sometimes it's quite wide as you come off a roundabout, so people might try and overtake you as you come off. So that's what we're checking our new road, new mirrors for. And video complete.